Hello and welcome to the first Tao Chain video update. Uh, my name's Fola. It's probably the first time that a lot of you guys have seen me. Uh, so hello. Uh, and we're here with my colleagues uh, Isar and Ohad. Hi, everyone. And we're going to cover a couple of topics, some of the really important uh, things that you guys have been discussing in Telegram. Uh, so we're going to be uh, covering uh, development progress, compliance and regulation, team hiring, and community building. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to kick it off to Ohad to discuss uh, the development progress and what's going on right now. Thank you, Fela, and hello, everyone. Um, TML reached a situation where the fundamentals uh, work correctly. We will be able to verify this um, also with the great help of uh, Tomas Klapka, who wrote a translator of from TML to uh, other existing logic programming backends. So we can test that TML works correctly. Um, additional features over these basics uh, need to be uh, finalized um, to finish the whole list that appears in the draft of the um, user manual on GitHub. Um, right now, the main effort is to make TML work faster because um, it is, although it works uh, quite fast on certain tasks, uh, it is still not working fast enough on the tasks it is intended to, which which is a language processing tasks. It used to be faster a few versions ago, um, but for reasons that are, are still unclear to me, um, um, it became slower. I still need to figure, to figure this out. Um, um, on these days, I'm working specifically on these performance uh, issues. I'll be trying to rewrite um, the underlying data structures, although we, um, I can say from today that it uh, still doesn't uh, prove itself very well. Also, um, I uh, implemented improvements to BDDs, binary decision diagrams, improvements that appear in the literature, and with the kind advice of Professor Tom Van Dyck, um, I managed to uh, implement them, and there, and there is more to go. Um, we will um, we will try to see if this uh, route that I described now will um, answer the performance requirements for language processing and especially parsing. If not, we will have to switch the parsing methodology from definite clause grammars to uh, parsing schemata by SQL. Um, after uh, after we finish TML, hopefully quite soon, uh, we will. Um, uh, move to work on the discussion platform. Um, we will skip several of the uh, milestones and jump, we will postpone some of the milestones and jump, jump directly to discussion platform, minimal discussion platform with the language TML, still without the Internet of Languages and TML self definition. If you, if you are new to this project, then you might not, uh, not really know what I'm talking about, but we will make a separate video to explain the new Tau as all other existing videos refer to the old Tau and the new Tau is very different. We will make a video to explain this all. So we will have a minimal discussion platform for uh, right after we finish TML in order for the community to play with it and uh, to visualize how it's going to be and to come up with ideas how to uh, make it better. And we, we will uh, hopefully, as uh, Fola and Isar are going to uh, explain, um, um, quickly find developers to to even begin right now the the building of this discussion platform. So um, hopefully we'll be ready at the same time and things will, will be faster. Awesome. That's all for now. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so so just to touch on compliance and regulatory stuff. So blockchain and all these kind of crypto kind of projects. When we first kicked off, there was no regulation. Um, now regulation has come around. Um, so we, we're, what we're doing at the moment is just, just catching up and just making sure that uh, uh, we're compliant in all senses that protects us, that protects you, and most importantly, that protects the project. Um, so you know, we need to be able to make sure that we can continue doing what we're doing. And um, that was my first port of call. So it's taken us a, a long time, but we have our structure now. 
um, and we have our strategy and it's, it's being implemented at the moment. Uh, now you guys are going to have to do a little bit of compli uh, KYC and uh, uh, that's going to get us over the line. Uh, but beyond that, as I had said, um, I'm going to be hiring the dev team for the discussion platform. That's uh, a couple of developers and a UI UX um, designer as well. I've actually been shortlisting some, some badass um, uh, uh, designers. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting that done as well. Um, I'm also going to be working on the marketing team as well. So I picked up a lot of what you said in the Telegram group about the marketing and how things can be structured. Again, everything will be tested and um, I'll be building a marketing team uh, to, to, to work on that as well. So um, I'm going to pass it on to, to Isar to, to go over the community building aspects. Okay, thank you very much, Paula, and hi, everyone. Um, as Paula mentioned, we're about to cover all the compliance aspects of the project. So now we're going to, going to shift gears and actually start developing and building the community. We are currently working on five main uh, initiatives. The first one is basically keep sharing updates about a project on a monthly basis. Uh, we're going to use the mailing list that we shared with everyone to just to engage with you and share with you all the uh, recent updates. The second one is basically developing something we call the FENS website, which is something currently developed by Fran, a member of our community. The FENS website will be the uh, main place to actually get information about a project or send potential investors or buyers to, um, to, to engage with the project and the community or just get more information and value at the project itself. Uh, the third initiative is continue writing um, the white paper. We're just going to hire a professional writer to assist us and OHAD with uh, um, simplifying the, the content and also make it a little bit more accessible and approachable. The fourth initiative is writing more, continue writing more articles about a project, not just explaining what a project is, but also explaining what TML is going to do and what's going to be its implications uh, and its applications. And lastly, we're going to integrate the playground that was developed by uh, Tomash. Um, I'm going to implement it to the main website and we're going to build a better user interface so everyone can play with and can evaluate the technology. All right, awesome. And just to round off, um, just about these updates, you know, this is a, uh, uh, we want to get you guys involved as well. So we're going to be getting a, a much more Q&A um, type style um, as, as these updates go on. Um, we'll be taking your questions and answering them. And at some point, we're going to start doing these live as well. So um, we're going to make these on a monthly basis. But if we do have extraordinary updates to give, we'll do a impromptu one and, and push these out as well. So please join up to what's up to our, our mailing list and uh, uh, stay in touch as much as you can. We'll be pushing updates uh, when they come in. Cheers. Cheers.